death on a horse. Icy roads led from the forest to our village. Freezing winds whipped through the dead trees. Temperatures dropped below freezing at night. Snow covered the land and our homes like a great blanket. Food was limited and hard to find. Most animals were hiding from the storms and hail. The coldness had claimed many of our neighbor's lives. To be caught at night alone in the forest was unwise. The damned roamed this area at night. Souls stolen from their homes during these harsh winter months. When the sun hid behind its blanket of darkness, you had best be home by a warm fire. My friend and neighbor was named John. We would go hunting and he would spend time over my home as he was a widower, having lost his wife and son to the cold winter years before. One day we became separated in those damn woods. John would chase in a deer and I lost my footing following him. I slid to the bottom of a hill. When I climbed back up, he was gone. I searched late for him, but the forest grew dark quickly. I had to abandon my search until daylight. I never realized I would never see my friend again. John wandered through the forest after losing a large doe. He did not realize how far he had wandered into those woods. He knew the sun was setting and a cold night would be hard to survive. Finding a small cave enough to hide in until the sun would rise again. Bundled next to a fire he slept. John was awakened by a noise outside of the cave. The smell of rotten meat lingered around the cavern. The snow had stopped falling and noise came from those woods. Something heavy was crushing ice and mud as it walked. The sound echoed through the silent forest as it crept closer. With his back to the wall and his rifle drawn, he waited. Then the smell and footsteps came closer. Moments later the noise had stopped and all was silent once again. Thinking the threat had gone, John looked down into the night. The night was clear and illuminated by moonlight. So he crept out of the cave to investigate the noise. Stories were told from Ireland of the headless man or the Dillahan. Until this night he never knew the stories were true. But when he looked up from the cave's entrance, he saw a black stallion. Smoking flames rose from the nostrils and eyes. The rider was headless, except for the wicked thing on his lap. The rider's head looked down at John and laughed, with a mouth full of rotten teeth moss and dirt covering the skull. John ran hard and fast for his village. He could hear the galloping of the stallion behind him. Heat from the flames almost burned him, as the horsemen were just behind him now. 
a bony whip slashed into his legs, the spine of some unfortunate victim, he grabbed John and threw him high into the air. After falling, he looked up and he was terrified. Desperately, he grabbed a heavy branch and swung it into the horseman's stomach. Then John ran straight toward the covered bridge. Supposedly, running water was a deterrent for undead spirits. The creature made an unearthly scream. Within seconds, the whip had ensnared John, lifting him high. The horseman laughed sinisterly as a bony fist snapped John's neck. The night of screams was over, and only silence remained. Shattered and broken, John's favorite axe was found at the edge of our village. The Delahan is a soul taker, as he carries the dying to the land of death. If you ever hear hooves at night, be very careful. Dullahan cares little for race, religion, or skin color. He knows only to find those lost and make sure to take them to the world beyond. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have in making it. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow has always been a favorite of mine. But in London, it was based on the Dalahan. was just awesome. Leave your likes, comments, and please click the notification bell for more. I post every Saturday. So feel free to check out my other videos. So until next Saturday, beware of the Shadowlands.